Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we have a couple of new figures to add to our collection. What is this? I think this is like a will. And this one, I think it's a new shock. So I'm very excited. Um, so I think today let's just focus on one new figure. Let's add this shock into our shocks collection which is right over here we have entire drawer of sharks collection okay so let's do this all right guys check this out so i've basically prepared every single figure of my sharks right here and today we will be adding a new shark to our collection which is known as a salmon shark our very first salmon shark figure so i'm super excited let's get right into it all right guys so let's have a look first at this brand new salmon shark okay so salmon sharks they are actually you know they can be found in the northern pacific ocean they feed on salmon squid herring and also saber fish okay so this is a brand new figure wow it looks really nice and this is actually the first time i'm looking at a salmon shark i think this is a new figure let's see let's check out the date oh it's a 2022 figure yeah i mean it is awesome i've never had a salmon shark figure so this is our very first salmon shark figure um in our collection let's um read some facts about this shark Salmon sharks are one of the only fish that is able to control its own body temperature. Yes, they are able to control the temperature of the body, especially the stomach, which is very, very rare for any fish. As you guys can see, this is a very nice figure. Yes, our first, our one and only salmon shark. Welcome to the collection, okay? Next up, let's take a look at um, some of these shark figures. I don't think many of you guys have seen every single one of them before. This one is a pretty cool one. Uh, we got this from... Um, I think we got this like a couple of months back. It's from Mattel. It's quite a nice one. You can see, you know, the flippers are able to like move. The tail is able to move as well. There's like articulation right here. Very fun. And of course, it looks like, like a very, very durable figure. Okay. This one has got to be my most favorite. Okay. It is actually from like PNSO. It's a figure of a Megalodon. It looks hyper realistic. It looks super realistic. It is actually a prehistoric shark, as you guys can see. It's not a great white, and you can see there's like rows of teeth. And you guys know that megalodons they are actually able to regrow their teeth back when they lose us, um, you know, when they lose a, a tooth or you know, or even more. Okay, this one is a glob goblin shark. Okay, very nice little figure. It comes with this button right here. Yeah, I call this the button. You are able to like press this fin and the mouth will go open and close very cool all right next up what is this another great white you can see it's a really nice one with like teeth two rows of teeth below and one row of teeth on top very very nice all right let's move on i think this is like one of the um older figures you know it looks kind of like cheap cheap plastic but still quite a nice one for all of this we actually got it from an online store in um, China. You can see, um, you know, it has like plenty of articulation and um, yeah, I don't think there's any brand to this, but I, th I feel they are pretty good, pretty decent figures. You can actually open and close the jaw, but of course not much. Oops, it actually came off. Oh my goodness, the mouth actually dropped out. Yeah, it's not like super high quality, but you can see that there's like some nice details um, in the figure. Yeah, pretty decent figure, I would say. Okay, um, let's have a look at some of these robbery sharks. Not too sure what exactly, you know, it's a species of these sharks. Not, not exactly sure, but I think it's okay. Let's have a look at the others. Here we have another goblin shark. I think this is quite a nice one. It even has a name written right here, which is cool. Okay, I think it even has the um, scientific name right here. Re Requeen. Lutin. I think that is a scientific name. I'm not exactly sure. We have a stretchable robbery hammerhead shark right here. And speaking of hammerheads, we have two similar identical ones over here. So you can see it has like a movable head 
right over here. So plenty of hammer hits. I think we have quite a number of hammer hits. This is a Mega Moth Shock right over here, which are very rare shocks that can only be found like really deep in the ocean waters. Okay, and speaking of another rare shock, we have a what is this? This is the um basking shock. It is a future feeder. It may look like super intimidating with the mouth wide open, but they are actually like super harmless to like humans. Bonnet hit shock right over here. You can see it also has sort of like a hammer hit, which is you know similar to the hammer hit, but this is actually a bonnet hit shock. It is actually like shorter in width. And um, this is a pointer shock, if I'm not wrong. And here we have a nurse shock. Okay, you can see these two fang like structures in front of the teeth. This is a great watch for sure. 2016 Safari LTD figure, quite a nice one. This one, I think it's a tiger shock, but you can see the colors looks kind of weird. And this one, it's a um, not too sure. I think it's a great white as well. This one, I think it's a ghost shock. I'm not exactly sure. So I, if you guys know, let me know down below. This is a tiger shock for sure. It is actually written right here from Safari LTD. Quite an old figure, 1993. Very, very old figure. Here is a basking shock. Okay. Here is another Megalodon. You can see like three rows of teeth on top and the three rows be below. Here is another Great White. Quite a nice one. I think this is from Papo. I think we have two exact same figures, but I'm not too sure whether they are bootlegs. I think they are real ones. Yeah, they look hyper. They are, uh, yeah, I think they are definitely from Papo. Just like the quality doesn't seem to be like really nice. This is one from Papo as well. It's a really, really beautiful one. It's a Megalodon, if I'm not wrong. Oh, I mean, it could pass on. It could pass on as a great white as well. Tiger. Tiger shock right here. This is a Goblin shock. So I think we have about three to four Goblin shocks in our collection. This one, I have no idea. I think it's a Basking shock. Megalocamers Pelagius. Not too sure. I think it's a Basking shock. This one looks like a zebra shock. Yeah, it, it is a zebra shock. But of course, it doesn't have the patterns on, on, on its body. Okay, this is a great white. Here is a great white as well. This one, I think is a great white shock as well. This is actually from um, Bully Land, but I'm not too sure whether it's a bootleg or an original figure. Because you can see the quality of this figure is pretty bad. The paint is like coming off. This is a great white. Yeah, you can see my figures are kind of kind of like old because I you know stack them all up together. But you know, 1996 figure, quite a nice one. Lemon shock, easily recognizable by its color. Yep, 2018 figure. This is a Mako shock. Okay, Mako shock, quite a nice one. Mega Mouth. This is our best Mega Mouth shock figure. 2016 Safari LTD figure. You know, some rubbery shocks right here. This is probably a Megalodon, pretty huge one. You can see it's like highly stretchable, very squishy. This one I think is a pointer shock. Um, Hammerhead shock baby, we have two of them, but of course they don't look like babies to me. Yeah, I mean, the eyes are actually kind of cute. Wow, this is a beautiful one, a shock ray. I can't even remember how we got this figure. Probably it was sent to us by a Den Safari and everything. And here's another Shakri. Quite a nice one from Schleich. This is a Sawfish, I suppose. Yes, Sawfish. Collect say Sawfish. Robber Gang. Okay. This is the um, Oceanic White Tip Shark. Yeah, the name is actually very long. 2019 figure. And here is another really nice Papo Great White. But I feel the snot is like, it's too sharp. It can't be that sharp. It's from Collector, I beg your pardon. Hammerhead Shock right here. It's a blue shock. If this one, I have no idea. I think this is actually from National Geographic set. It could be a, um, a bull shock, not too sure. Hammerhead shock. 
and this is a sand um it's a gray reef shock yeah that's right 2018 figure you can see the colors is like actually like very dark and here is another sawfish beautiful one sawfish 1994 figure so it basically uses this tool this saw like tool to slash up at its prey so it basically used this to like cut cut its prey into like small little pieces i'm, I'm not i'm not kidding it's it's true it's true and this is a short fin mako shock yep beautiful figure this one um i have no idea what th what this is it looks like a carpet shock to me and this is the scallop hammerhead shock you can see it's slightly different from the usual hammerhead it has some curves and some bends some protrusions we have two of them exactly the same figures a mini sawfish this it's a bull shark which is classified as one of the um most dangerous sharks there are actually more human attacks on you know recorded by a bull shark by bull sharks than uh, you know great whites this is a black tip reef shark yep um you know a small species of shark bamboo shark basically got got his name from you know patterns on his body and you can see it's like you know structures which is similar to a nurse shark a fruit shark fruit shark our one and only fruit shark okay fruit you know as in fruit shark tiger shark right here no idea what this is is it looks super cute this one is a great white you know we have so many great whites in our collection this is a thrasher shark you know when you see this tail you can easily recognize it as a thrasher shark and they basically use the tail to like whip up at its prey to stun them before eating them very very smart basking shark from safari ltd quite a nice figure 2007 another hammerhead shark right here this is known as a sand tiger shark 2020 a uh, mini rubber gang spotted rubber gang rubber gong rubber gong it's not a rubber gang i thought it was pronounced as rubber gang but uh yeah this it's the um white tip reef shark small little shark 2018 figure Zebra sharks, you can see we have like two of them Or you can call them like leopard sharks Because zebra sharks and leopard sharks, they are basically the same species Just that the patterns will change as they grow And here is a zebra shark, you can see There are like stripes, there are also spots Thrasher shark, we have two of them Why is this doing here? This is a manatee, it shouldn't be here Similarly to this it shouldn't be here how do we get this minifigures they look so cute we have a ladderback sea turtle and a um, sea lion this is a mini great white I think this is from it looks like it they, they look like they're from Papo because the quality looks pretty good this is like a real shark so this one definitely has to go into the real shark f um, collection basking shark for sure yeah this one is the basking shark Thrasher shock. Yep, this one is a nice one. Very nice figure from Safari LTD. Um, why why are we having like random sea animals in this box? <laughs> That's weird. And um, what is this? This is a gray whale. I have no idea why they are here. This it's probably probably a you know it looks like a nurse shock because there's like two fangs in front. Probably a nurse shark. Robber gong or robber gang. Zebra shark or the, you know it could be a leopard shark. Yeah, I mean they're the same actually. Shark ray. Alright. Um Yeah, I mean they don't belong here. We have a whale, we also have a dolphin. We also have a manta ray right here. We also have another walrus. Oh my goodness, we have we, we have like so many random small little sea animals in a wrong box. Scallop hammerhead shark. Yep, that's right. Alright, thanks for watching this. So I'm pretty excited to be adding 
the salmon shop into our collection this is our new one so super excited about this so yeah thanks for watching this collection video um the next one the next video i'm gonna focus on um you know our whales and our dolphins collection because we do have a new mink whale yeah to add to our collection next okay so stay tuned for the next video i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye